Howdy y'all, it's your host Ro. Welcome back to Love the Games. Playing a little more Life is Strange uh, before the storm remastered. We're about to go meet Frank here in the junkyard. So please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. And we're gonna hop right back into it. See what we can get into. Alright, so we just changed our clothes. And let's go meet Frank. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. It is. It looks exactly like Rachel. Weird. Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Price, get your ass in here. Smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that? Well, ah! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Hey, I heard you were expelled. Bad news. You mean good news? I'm stoked. Word. If you want to blaze with me and Trev, let me know. Thanks. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How well so Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Oh, yeah. A betting slip. Twelve hundred dollars? Damn. Way out of my league. Fight the power. Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. How dare you offer candy to children without parental permission? I've reported your license plate to the Arcadia Bay Police Department. Ugh, gross. Bomb sauce for the man who enjoys searing pay with his drive through order. Beer, TP, milk. Chloe's drugs. Wonder what Frank eats when he gets the munchies. Beans. A shit ton of beans. That's an insane amount of beans. That is an insane amount of beans. Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. Beans and steak. They can be. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. Part of a balanced breakfast. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. <laughs> I mean, you're the one asking her to go through your shit. To see Frank's bedroom. Where's his little puppy? He should have Pompadour by now, shouldn't he? Hey there. It's okay, little guy. Oh shit! Sorry. Pompadour, get up here! Oh, he's so cute. Pompadour. You little killer. Uh, Tempest is gonna be awesome. Like, bad, I mean. It's gonna be hilarious. Okay, 
Don't. Hey, don't worry about being expelled, okay? Dude, I'm fine. Is she gonna give two shits? A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. Someone's a messy eater. Yeah. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. A throne fit for Frank. All right. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. Twenty ten. Is this what I think it is? Glad I paid that off. Chloe 175, Stella 150, Jackson 68, Alice 450, Stella 100, Hannah 750, hey. She buy cocaine, Drew 1050, oh. Almond 320, Jackson 87. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Anything else to look at in your not great. Computer use? Poor Frank. Next time, try Ask Miss Arcadia. Hi there, my dog is three months old and he's still peeing everywhere. What do I do? Thanks. Puppy have accidents when they're scared, you have to stop scolding your puppy. Thanks, but I don't scold him. Then why is she having accidents? Raising puppies requires patience. You can't control yourself. Please look deeply and honestly on whether you're really able to have a dog. What's your fucking problem, lady? I don't scold him. Oh, no need to swear. I think it's pretty clear now that you do scold her or worse. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Dream about clouds meeting. What age will dog eat steak? This head music. My hook. Me Laguna single. Cloud formation screensaver. Property insurance fire illegal. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Megan Fox single. How large was the biggest cloud in history? I want a puppy eat steak. Shit. The mill burned down. Frank, I went back to the mill. Shouldn't have. I'm fucking curious. Everything's burnt. Total massacre. Can't stop thinking about it. Dogs didn't make it. That's $10,000 gone just like that. Plus the stud fees we had coming. RF and the whole crew are going to be pissed. How am I going to come back with it? This is my fucking reputation intact. Can't think straight about this shit. I just want to find who started the fire and burn his fucking face. D. Paul Crusher, 348, at Easy Cannon Jeez. That's an expensive dog. Frank, you like the dog? I thought you would. The dog special, man. Callie's buyer wanted him, and I said, fuck off. Keep your 3K. Save it up for my buddy Frank. I mean, everything you've done for me adds up to more than 3K. Don't thank me. This is from me to you. Just let me breed him later. Damon. Or anything else. Alright, no. That dog makes Frank look almost nice. Is this it? Have a seat. In the Pop Starship you, Drug That's ass. one badass name for a dog. It's French. No, he's cute. <laughs> okay. But he's not a poodle, Frank. No, I have a French not, dog too. But I'm gonna treat him like one. I have a great Pyrenees. Okay. His name's so, Odin. He's who was that a woman? wonderful dog. What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me, dude. I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. I won't sell you out. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. He okay, had some that dream, So, uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. 
Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. That is true. Very true. I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You... You got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Like what? I've got a little job for you. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? Drew North. Drew North? Yeah, he's... Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of money. 1050 bucks. boxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh, no, we never talk. No, I never talk to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course. But what's in it for me? I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. I got what's the matter? Tell him that you were expelled and kicked out. It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. It's still easier for you to go on campus than for me. Yeah, because... If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Wonder if he's still giving away free candy to kids. The place actually looks really pretty. Even with the big ass fire looming in the background. But the drug dealer pulling up in an RV outside of this. I'm gonna call it a college campus. No, I didn't think I'd be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. You're going to the dorms too. Rachel, back at school yet again. They got some tents, dressing rooms. Be up to. I'm here too, actually, running an errand for my dealer. Oh really? So bad. Come see me when you're done. Yeah, for sure. Yes, I saw that woman. Your dad was coming out of the RV. Dealer's RV. What? Apparently, she's causing trouble for a lot of people. Her name's Sarah. Rachel? I think maybe I prefer not knowing her name. Oh, my bad. 
That's fine. Decent. I'm assuming that's Rachel's mom. Better they look and get into just the like her. I should come hang around here during finals. Make everybody jealous. What would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably not a dorm. So this is Principal Wells' house. We learned from the other life is strange. I thought this was the girls' dorm. But concrete. Oh no, it's all wet. And in all hope. Welcome to hell. There you go. I always knew that one day Miss Price would leave an indelible mark upon this school. Max would have jumped on that photographer position. Blackwell Academy. Conserving water since <sighs> never. Evan subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. There's Evan. Putting his pretentious art above his sanity. Yeah. As usual. In a way, that's kind of badass. What are you doing here? Well, Aren't you supposed dick. to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks really ridiculous. No, we don't need to say that. Chloe? Uh-huh. I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. You can be a dick. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. Forest fires, for example. You were the only person who signed my petition. I mean, seriously signed it. That's pretty sad. I'm a low bar, but... Did you really expect people to care? People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? You. <laughs> Looks like you were right. Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know <laughs> you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. I anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Yeah, you're a dick. <laughs> what are the chances that 200 years ago, some teenager got in trouble for carving faces all over the thing? Huh. That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. Chaos theory. Such a nice white door. Though, it feels like it's missing something. Doesn't nice it? Nice work, Samuel. Samuel. Blackwell's a resident hey, Samuel. groundskeeper. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber 
is a dragon made of diamonds. Kind of weird. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels, or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? Wow, he's getting deep. I'm, uh... <laughs> Looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has, with much love and no room for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. That is correct. So... Uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay... Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. And, uh, what, what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely and afraid. It is true. He's it's reading okay your insecurities. Not to be okay, Chloe Price. I've got to go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. I like Samuel a lot. I think he's very deep. Yeah. Now that I'm gone. Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. Besides Rachel, obviously. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Your shirt looks like the tea leaves they used to tell people's fortunes. How's my future looking? Bright and sunny. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. It was. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? Yes. Running an errand. I'm just picking up something from uh, somebody. It's for a friend. Now I'm really curious. What are you doing? What's all this stuff? I'm prepping for the Tempest show tonight. I'm the stage manager. Oh, right. Uh, I think I knew that. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. Obviously, Rachel's fantastic, but everyone else is pretty impressive, too. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay, now you just unconvinced me. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... Uh, you think we're together? I'm not sure. I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. 
It's... it's... confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe, you know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. You're like Have the only... Fun storming the castle. Two gay girls in the school. Why, yes. Chloe, of course you may look through that. Steph's really good at creating fantasy worlds. Example, I can Stephanie. see why Mikey prefers them to his Re reality. Creativity shines bright as the middle of his sun. It is really cool. Now that I'm gone, Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. I'll see you at the Tempest, right? All right, anything else? Nope. Walk around the building just to make sure. Steph's poster. probably biased, but she does have taste. Welcome slots. Maybe the yeah. show will be good. Go to dorms. Locked. Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Yeah, Evan has a key. Is that poop? Oh, that's grass. <sighs> You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Alright, so we have to swipe Samuel's key. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Door, statue, book, books. Maybe that's how we could graffiti in here too. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. <sighs> My problem is Evan. Evan is never... right there. Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Hear the bird again. Time for a fresh start. Alright. Can we do anything about that? No, we cannot. He just pushed it. Here we go. <sighs> I get you to go that way. There we go. One small flight for this bird, one giant leap backward for Chloe Price. Why is it backwards? He's. Almost there. I don't know where I'm supposed to make this bird go. Back where we started. Come on. Gotta scare it the other way. Time for a fresh start. 
How many times? Here we go. Technically, that's even worse because. One small flight for this bird, one giant leap backward for Chloe Price. Wasn't even trying to secure the bird. This don't take a few more attempts. Almost there. That's where you were wanting it a minute ago. Uh... So tempting, but Evan will see me for sure. And he sounds like he's in the mood to get me in trouble. Gotcha. I oh, got him on the totem. Perfect. You're welcome. For once, Evan's obsessiveness turned out to be useful. A bird on top of a bird. Photo of the year, Evan. Should give it the bird, too. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. It's totally obvious that you just kicked it when you're right next to it when I'm just now busted. You best hurry, because it won't take long to fix that. All you did was bend the sprinkler head. Graffiti first. Hopefully Samuel doesn't have to paint over this. Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. That is a huge set of keys. No time like the present. Chloe? <laughs> Skip walked out right then. <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get expelled? Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't. I, I really can't just let you go in. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. <laughs> I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? Women's business. Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. You're gonna lose your job. If you keep violating students' personal rights, you're going to get fired. It's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? Wells doesn't respect you. You know Wells doesn't really respect you, right? You're just a, a rent-a-cop who needs a haircut. I thought we were friends. 
Where is this coming from? Friend, huh? Friends don't violate each other's civil liberties, Skip. Good one. Look, look, look! I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. Just looked at you're, my tits. You're sorry? Y you just looked at my tits. You, you did. You stared right at them. Oh, shit. Not even denying it. I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know. But... En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. Huh. I'm here. I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. <sighs> Thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. There you go. I don't know if Junker has it going. Have you found it yet? No, oh, man. It's been like five minutes. It's been 20. Okay, okay, I'm on it. Hurry up. It's actually been 38. Of oh, thirty six to be exact. All right, which one is Drew's room? Arcadia Bay Forest Lodge. 50% contain. Thanks for the geometry help. I owe you one, Justin. Look at the map. Guess I'll never see my name on one of these. I wouldn't have made it to senior year anyway. So, Drew Norris 110. Thou shalt not pass. Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? Elliot Hampton's room. Wonder what he's up to right now. We'll go check that out in a second. Break the leg tonight. Tempest. I want to say that half the fun of weed is knowing it's illegal, but I think it'd be just as awesome over Great the season, counter. Mondo. Good luck at state. Face and Escape by Nathan Dresscott. Nathan's such a creep. This is really gross. Aren't you glad I didn't save the name? Trevor. No, nine. Go, Bigfoot. Need yeah. to talk to you, Zach. Uh, definitely Drew's room. Number six. Bathroom. All right, we're gonna go to Aliens first. Elliot does work really hard. I guess I'm happy for him. The world breaks everyone, and afterward, some are strong at the broken places. Why does it been so long sad. since Elliot and I actually went to a concert together? Wow. I remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. Because he likes you. Guess I'm not the only one who keeps a diary. That's not half bad. When she left the room, it was electric. Flesh wings, not with okay. agony. Okay. They see Dark. her in the brick and mortar in the fresh cut grass. Eyes flesh and bright like coins. The fairy men can't have her, I say. The dark gods. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? The moment when the sun is almost there, the sea is a welcoming warmth. Full of light, 
Who's the nodding ways with sharpness cold? If any conforms to one stark place, if one moment all is possible, I'll say yes. My heart says yes, her eyes say yes. Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. They see her, but don't see her. How is that so? All the world is negative and dark, and she cries out the screaming rocket. <laughs> Wait, are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? You're about to die. How child she is, how lovely and how cruel. Her black knife spilling words and dripping ink. We should close the drawer. He doesn't know, need to know your diary. Elliot's mom seems nice. Hey, sweetheart, I got a letter about your scholarship and couldn't be prouder of it. Shown to the whole family, your grandmother said, of course he did. He's my grandson, and your father called again about 4th of July. I told him it was too early to decide that you're being focused on school right now, but if you want to spend some time in the summer, of course I'll support you. Don't break too many hearts Lucky over there. Dana. Yo, Elliot, you got English with Dana Ward, right? What's she like? I think she's hot. Say something cool about her. Me to her, but not like I told you to. Thanks, bro. <sighs> Warren Graham is such a nerd. <laughs> You're so wrong. I grant you, Ed Wood made powerful movies, but so many more awesome, terrible movies come after Plan 9 and Outer Space. It's called the worst movie ever made, but you'll see the Night of Lepus, a bunch of space zombies compared to giant carnivores rabbits. Huh. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. Guards of Hell Book 3, Illuminati, I Meeting, Major Lucas, Hampton, Tempest Tickets, Blackwell, Tempest Quotes, Chloe Price, Chloe Elizabeth Price, Chloe Elizabeth Price, Arcadia Bay, Elliot Hampton, Arcadia Bay, How to Tie a Tie Video. I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or <laughs> really bad. I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. Yep. Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Maybe he does belong at Blackwell. Let me tag your wall. Graffiti this Elliot thing. likes to write poetry about me, eh? <laughs> what do I want to say in response? Emotional. Loyal. Introverted. Uh, odd. And talented. There we go. <laughs> I'm no poet. All right. We're just going to open it up. We ain't knocking. Typical jock room. Pizza. Good. Sports stuff. <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? <sighs> Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four-digit code. And there. Mm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. Nice. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his so fellow folks heads. Shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. I don't really care too much about what Plenty of possible is. combinations here.
April 3rd, number 27th. Durgaron. Yeah. That fucker's dead. Bad guys don't usually look so obvious. <laughs> awesome. This is still awesome. He loves his brother Mikey. It looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. <laughs> they look so happy. They do. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? Everything. Plenty of possible combinations here. Roll 27 or 0403. Try 1227 first. Yes. Yeah, his brother's birthday. He loves Mikey this that much. This is kind of fun. Ah, oh. did little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Okay, got the money. Time to bust out of here. It looks exactly the way I found it. All right, anything else? I'm trying to look the ball poster. Look at that. More numbers. Oh, we just gotta escape now. <laughs> hey! Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? Uh, no reason. <laughs> no reason. Just <laughs> roam in the halls. Were you wanting to play more tabletop games? Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough. You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Who's that? Who the hell is that? No one. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. That's uh, the drug dude you who's a prank, on? I think. Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah, bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Uh, Where is it? Uh, Please! Just give me one week. Uh, You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. If Mikey goes out no, there, he'll be fucked up. No one kid! No uh, one steals from me! Uh, no one. Fuck. Fuck! Give Damon the money, stay with Mike. No, we want to stay with Mikey. Let me go! Uh. 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 
Mikey will get himself It'll be okay, messed up Mikey. and be in the hospital. It'll be okay. I'm sure. Damn, you were one tough kid. Drew will be too. Fuck you. Yeah. Well, what about this? Yeah. Good luck running on that knee now. Bye bye football. <laughs> well, I'm done. Get my money, or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. Uh, uh, Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. I... I didn't do anything. You kept my brother safe. Drew? You need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah, uh, no. Dang. No way. What, um, what are you going to do? <sighs> about Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. Well, you Maybe. definitely are going to lose your scholarship. Because you can't play football with a busted knee. That sounds like you just need to collect some money and pay him off. We're gonna go pay off Frank. Not as smoky as it was before, it's still, you tell it's still in the air, but. Yeah, wow. It looks like a volcano. They really fixed up the area. This day has been so messed up. At least I can talk to Rachel now. If I can find her back here. Let's see. Max, have you ever hated someone's guts? But then... Oh, wait, we were right. Max, ever been to therapy? It's actually kind of awesome. I mean, writing down your feelings and hugging and crying. I'm talking about popping open the hood and getting your hands dirty. Rachel's awesome at it because, of course, she is. We talked about my mom, dad, the fire, my expulsion. Rachel didn't want to talk as much, but I got her to open up. Glad I did, by the way. Everything I don't know. Super Bowl was broke, I guess. Speaking of, I found a snarly truck that I started fixing up. Who knows if I'll ever get it running, but for now, I'm glad to have a problem I might actually be able to solve. Maybe an escape via Stay tuned. Fixing trucks, fixing brains. Who needs school anyway? Chloe, the less broken fixer. Max, how do you know when it's time to take a relationship to the next level? Talking about my drug dealer, Frank, of course. He wants me to do a job for him. Picking up the money for Drew North. You know Drew, Blackwell's premier jockstrap. And now apparently Oxy dealer. Dude's in it pretty deep. It seems. But it should be an easy job. Besides, I could use the money for mine and Rachel's escape fund. Which, speaking of Rachel, I guess, the skis ball dad's side piece I saw coming out of Frank's RV. I pressed Frank for some info and learned her name is Sarah. She's only been around for a couple weeks. Oh, and she loves the drugs. Weird. Alright, I'll have to make a triumphant return to Blackwell. At least I'm getting paid together this time. Chloe, the permanently awesome. 
do more drugs. Alright, fuck, remember that easy job for Frank told you about? Yeah, not so quite. First, I jacked Samuel's keys, used my Jedi powers to get past Skip to the dorms, by which mean I talked about my lady bits till he freaked out and let me in. Took a brief detour in Elliot's room to read his poetry. Dude's got feelings for me. I guess I'm flattered, I guess. Anyways, I found the cash, but then Drew and Mikey showed up, followed by Frank psychopath boss Damon. Have you ever met somebody that just knew never to fuck with? I had it until today. Damon started beating the shit out of Drew for money he owed. I stayed with Mikey like Drew wanted. It was horrifying. I think Damon actually broke Drew's knee, and then I kept the money. I'm not sure why I did it. I need the money to get out of town, but it felt not so great. It was all so, so, so fucked. Then the most hard part that I had anything to do with it. Chloe the thief, an all around bad person. So, we know Damon now. A few minutes down, Damon Merrick can tell you the guy's a peace loving guy who gardens in his spare time and loves unicorns and rainbows. Oh, and breaking people's kneecaps is it's a simple pleasure. Honestly, don't know a lot about the guy. I know that he collects his debts. His name is written all over the mail, and he may even scare Frank. I think they work together, but unlike Frank, he's got a bite to match his bark. Everyone at the mill that night seemed to know him, but every time I asked somebody about him, they clammed right the hell up and have a special breed of fucked up to scare any sense into the criminal element of Arcadia Bay. The one thing everyone will tell me, the guy is bad news. So pharmaceuticals, baking soda, aspirin, powdered milk, talcum powder, laundry detergent, plunger. Oh, there's one more. F. Hey, you held on to Mikey, he told me. It meant a lot to him. Oh. Oh. Gotta go up here. Oh, it's Steph, I'm on my way to the hospital. Mikey told me what happened. Poor Drew, I'm still stunned. Thank you for what you did. I didn't do anything. Alright. Well, let's look at some props. I've already seen what happens when Rachel plays with fire. Rachel plus swords should be fun. It should be. Drama teachers always seem so... Dramatic. <laughs> Dramatic, Suck, Mr. Keaton. Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady. Do you still believe true love exists? Yeah. <laughs> sure, I think so. But it's a lot weirder and scarier than poets and pop songs make it out to be. <laughs> you might be surprised, my dear. Budding dramaturge, may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. Uh -huh. Word. Stephanie was our lion of the light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. That dude is weird. I think that dude's asking for your help. Best find your seat, my dear. Showtime approaches. After all the work Steph did, it's amazing that she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. Well, yeah, it's her best friend. Sports just look so... Uh, Drew seems to be the captain of every Sweet. Blackwell sport. Another reason to be thankful yeah. for my uh, I recent he's okay. life change. That's some shameless eavesdropping there, Samantha. Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do it, Nathan's Dad. Nathan's dad I'm looks sorry. like he's Keep your voice really down. laying into him. You don't understand. What it's about. They all hate me. They're just going to laugh at me. Why do you suppose that John is? Prescott at his finest. I don't know. Because you show weakness. Just like you're doing right now. But, Dad. When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. You will not embarrass me. He cares more about his name than his own son. Nathan. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. 
I'll see you after the show. And that's why his son dies. Great pep talk, Mr. P. Everyone knows the best way to instill confidence in someone is by intimidating them. I don't know who you are, but mind your own business. <laughs> I'd love to. Don't you have, like, a private bunker filled with gold coins where you could have these conversations? He's in the process of building a private bunker. Nathan. Fuck! We've stuck up for him twice now. Samantha seems pretty torn up about what happened between Nathan and his dad. Bitter much? I don't get bitter. I get even. Wonder which bachelor contestant Victoria stole that line from. How can I add to it now? Hey. Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Nathan's dad sucks. But you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Oh, Chloe. I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> for what? You didn't kill my dad. Dang, dead dad. Or did you? <laughs> that was a joke. I know. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. Actually, the two of you are really similar. Uh... What the hell does that mean? I'm serious. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. I think you stood up for Nathan yesterday because you know what he's going through. Nathan's hurt, and he needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? Give him a... Uh, give him help. Give him space. Give him help. When I'm super pissed, <laughs> the last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. But maybe it's what I need. Nathan acted like he didn't want our help yesterday. But trust me, he was glad we did. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. That's actually super helpful. Yeah, I don't... I think if Nathan doesn't get the help, he's gonna go crazy... You know, drug Rachel Amber, have a little area where he takes girls who are drugged, overdoses them, kills them, you know, that type of thing. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David? I think this one. Oh, Hayden. Even, Even Hayden seems super into this play. What is happening? Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand. Good lady. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, hey, Ferdinand. Sup, Chloe. I mean, sup, fair maiden. Fair maiden. Great uh, method, method acting. acting. Really? Thanks. Boys changing tent. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh, go on. You may see a dink or two. Thanks, but no thanks. No way in hell I'm going up on that stage. Oh my goodness, the best attorney. David's garden? Or did David dig ducks? Looks like Victoria has finally pushed Dana over the edge. Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug? Hell if I know. Did Doug Working on the tongue twisters to make sure you got your lines. I have a feeling it's going to continue the story as soon as we go into that tent. We're going to take a break. Called an episode. I'll see you guys in the next episode. So please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think down in the comment section down below. On the next uh, episode, we're going to 
head into the girls' changing tent, more than likely meet up with Rachel and see where we go from there. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. Peace.